front. Got a couple drinks, got some oysters. And we're gonna order some food soon. So I'm very, very excited. We have a bunch of different flavored mimosas. A pineapple, peach, uh, pomegranate. So I'm very excited. It's really good. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you guys saw, um, I went to brunch this morning, but I, this is actually before I went to brunch, I am doing my makeup. I got a couple requests that people wanted to see a makeup tutorial from how I did my makeup for Fair Day, which is actually the last video that I posted. And um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope that you learned a couple tips. I'll be naming the product, so let's just go ahead and get into it. But the first thing that I start out with um, when I do my makeup is I'm going to start out with the MAC Prep and Prime. A little bit on my hand, and I this is probably like not how you're supposed to do it at all. But I just get like this nasty beauty blender, and I just... Okay. That is all on my face, so I'm going to let that kind of like, dry and set for a second. So while I do that, I usually go... Ooh, where's the camera? Here we go. I will usually take my L'Oreal Volu Voluminous, Voluminous Primer. No idea if I'm saying that right. Um, it's just like a little white bottle. It's very dirty right now. But that, I'm just going to apply a coat on my eyelashes. It's an eyelash primer. Okay, so it's gonna look when it's done. And the next thing that I will usually do is I will brush through my eyebrows. So I have my little spoolie. It's just at the end of an old eyelash or eyebrow brush that I just don't use anymore. So I will just comb through these. I always use the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate. How the outside looks and the inside I've had this for over a year and it's oh focus there we go I've had this for over a year and there's still so much left in it so this is my go-to and just get a little bit on your brush you don't want to get too much and just go ahead and I have to pull my mirror closer to me for this one And I always do my eyebrows a little um, darker when I first do them because usually when I put on my foundation, it will mess up my eyebrows. So the next step is going to be taking my foundation and I use the Maybelline Superstay up to 24 hour matte full coverage foundation and it is the shade 115 in ivory. So that is how the bottom looks. Um, to the shade maybe so I am just going to take like a pump and a half on my hand and I'm actually switched from using a beauty blender and I'm actually using a foundation brush and this is the brand I'm guessing B&B &B, but it's B money sign B so that's how that looks and I'm just gonna take a little bit across my forehead And I'm just going to paint this all the way down my feet. Alright, so this is how it's going to look after. When you put it on, it looks crazy. It looks really streaky and just gross and like it's not going to work. But then once I actually get it all on my face, it looks really good. I like how it always turns out on my face. But I like how it looks. So we are done with the foundation now. So we can get this out of the way. So next, I am just going to take a little bit sorry, my ear, just <laughs> of my Shape Tape um, in Light Medium Honey. And if that will focus, 
I am just going to take a tiny, tiny bit. Peace. Okay, so that is done. So, as all girls know, we get foundation all over our lips. And I hate doing that. I hate it. It looks disgusting. Especially when you're completely done with your makeup. And you look in the mirror and you're like, where are my lips? So... I would say um, what I usually do is just put on a little chapstick and get rid of it, but I genuinely cannot find my chapstick, so I'm just going to take my beauty blender and wipe it off. There you go. It's a little bit better. Okay. So now we have done foundation and um, a concealer on top. So next, I'm going to be putting powder on my face. I know a lot of people, they either do like a powder foundation or they do a foundation or I don't know what I just said, or a BB cream, but I actually use, um, obviously I use foundation and concealer and I also use a powder foundation to set on top of my face because I do get um, really red in my face really easily. So this is just really good to cover everything like that, any discoloration on my face, which can happen a lot. And I have a lot of veiny spots, like I said, on my nose. I have it on the sides of my cheek. Um, so this stuff is really good for that. And it's, again, the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage, up to 16 hours powder foundation. And this is in the shade 220 Natural Beige. And it comes with this little sponge so I just take it and dab a little bit of that on there and just start patting it on my face honestly okay so that is all done my face is all smooth and one color which we love a one colored face girl so that's good. So the next thing that I will usually do, we're almost done, so don't worry, it's almost getting there. I'm going to brush out my eyebrows again, cause if you see they got covered in powder, they're looking a little, a little rough. Okay, I'm gonna brush those out again. Then you guessed it, we're gonna fill them in again, cause. I have to have good eyebrows. And I'm sure most of you girls relate to that, so I don't think I'm the only crazy one that spends a lot of time on their eyebrows. Okay, so I did my eyebrows again. They look kind of big and wild right now, but I promise everything will tie together at the end. I just have to have nice eyebrows, okay? I have to, so don't... Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. So, we are going to get... Uh, let me fix that. There we go. That's not too bad. Okay. Uh, hair in my mouth. I love that for me. So, yeah. I have really bad wrinkles. You will start to see all these wrinkles on my face already. Hopefully that doesn't happen to you, but I am in Florida and I am in the sun 24-7, so... What can you do? But next, I am going to be taking my Their Real Benefit Mascara, and this is one of my absolute favorites. It's amazing, but just to warn you, it is almost out right now, so I'm actually going to be using two different mascaras to complete my look because this one is just, it's running out of life, so I need to go get a new one. But I'm going to start out with this one. That's the first coat. I'm going to let those kind of sit for a while. And then I'm going to go in with my Hoola Benefit um, bronzer. And this is... I don't know if they have different shades, honestly. I think they do. I would think so, but maybe not. It says HG12. I don't know if that's a shade or if that's just like the product number. <sighs> I don't know. But I'm going to start contouring my face. Next, 
next I'm going to be taking my Morphe highlighter and it's in the color Spark. I'm just going to take a little highlighting brush or actually I don't even think it's a highlighting brush, it's literally this. And then for the second mascara, I'm going to be going in with the IT Superhero, and it's in super black. So I'm just going to take that and put it on top of the coat that I already have on my eyelashes. Okay guys, so as I was doing uh, my makeup tutorial, my camera actually shut off, so <clears throat> sorry about that, my camera shut off, so I'm actually going to be finishing the tutorial on my phone. Um, so I just did the second layer of the mascara with the It Superhero, and now I really just have one more thing to do, and that's going to be my lips. So let me find a spot to set you guys up on. This is crooked, but um, it's going to have to work. So... Um, I'm trying to find my lip liner. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips with the Matrix Lip Definers in Spiced Up Nude. And I'm actually gonna turn off the camera so I can do that and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so my lips are lined, I look like a duck. And now what everyone has been asking is what lipstick were you wearing? That is my Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And it is going to be in the shade Incognito. So uh, that's the lipstick that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on like normal lipstick. Okay guys, so this is the final look for my makeup tutorial of um, how I did my makeup for when I went to the fair. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was pretty easy to follow along. I'm not a makeup artist or anything close, so hopefully it was pretty simple, but... I think it turned out pretty good. So I will see y'all in a couple minutes. Actually a couple seconds for you guys. Hello everyone. So the last time that you saw me uh, was the makeup tutorial and I was going to continue vlogging yesterday, but I actually, so yesterday was actually one year, um, the one year anniversary that my friend Nestor has passed, have passed away. And then yesterday I also found out that an old, childhood a friend of mine that I was like best friends with back in elementary school um, actually passed away yesterday morning as well thank you all so much for watching this video so please comment down below if there's anything you want to see in the future anything just anything tell me how your day is tell me what the weather's like where you live tell me tell me everything how's your week going so I will see y'all next week like I said in my previous video I'm not going to be posting every Wednesday now um, I'm going to be just like posting once or twice every week. So it could be random. It could still be on Wednesdays, but probably not. Oh, and I got my nails done yesterday. That's also something that I did. So I just got white acrylics to match with the snow in California. So that doesn't even sound right. Snow in California, but there's a lot of it right now. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Um, sorry for the depressing ending. I obviously was not expecting that to have two friends die on the same day kind of sucks um it's kind of I mean in a way I guess it's nice that I only have one day rather than like the 24th and 25th of kind of mourning my friends but um yeah I'm sure some of you have gone through the same thing it's really sad how many young kids that we lose now but thank you all so much and I will see you next week